Anyway, let's get to the topic at hand. So today I'm talking about how to do a perfect push-up. Let's get some lighting here. There we go. How to do the first thing we want to do is obviously get down into what's a push-up position or a plank position. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple different angles. I'm going to show you the front angle first, and then I'll show you the side angle. Let's go over, let's go over some common things uh, that you can see from a front angle uh, when it comes to push-ups. Okay, so whether you're doing push-ups from the knees or in a standard push-up position, one of the most common mistakes done with push-ups is having the elbows go out to the side too far. So I'll show you what that looks like. What kind of push-up I'm doing, my elbows flare out to the side. So what you want to think of is kind of a right angle box with your body. I've got my shoulder, my elbow, and my ribs kind of form a right angle. Okay? What I want to do instead is create a 45 degree angle with my push-up. So now I'm going down and as you can see, my elbows are somewhere between a line created by my shoulder and the vertical line created by my ribs. The next two that I'm going to show you are done from a side angle. Okay. Another common mistake with a push-up is not tucking the pelvis. Okay. So notice the difference between this and this. Okay. When I have my butt out here, what I'm essentially doing is disengaging my core. Okay, so this is not engaged, this is engaged, okay? So from this position, once I engage my core, I tilt my pelvis forward. Now notice my back is a little rounded, I probably need to adjust that by getting a little bit flatter, okay? So you don't want to be here, you're going to be in a nice tucked position, okay? Then from here, I'm pushing out, down, and back up, okay? Another thing when it comes to doing push-ups, is actually tilting your head forward or raising your shoulders up too high here. When we get better at doing push-ups, we improve the ability for our chest to actually facilitate the movement. So let's say I'm doing a push-up. A common mistake is having the shoulders rise towards the ears. Okay? You want to keep those shoulders down. Okay? Engage your shoulders into your lats. So what do, you, what do I mean by engage my shoulders into my lats? When we're doing push-ups, a lot of times we come up here. What I want you to do is actually press your shoulders into your armpits. So from here, down, and you want to kind of tuck them in, okay? Okay, and I'm going to do my push-up from my knees. Remember, my core needs to be engaged, so I don't want my butt here. I want my butt here, okay? Then I'm going down, and I'm pressing back up. When you engage your core, and when you tuck your shoulders in, you actually are stronger. And the reason why you're stronger is because you're connecting everything together. When my shoulders are up here, I'm weaker. My, my hips are up and back and not engaged and contracted, I'm weaker. One of the mistakes done with every kind of push-up is not engaging the core. So again, a couple mistakes. First one we went over, which is elbows flare out this way, okay? You never want to go out in this direction. You want to keep your elbows at about a 45 degree angle, but here's what not to do. And the adjustment is just and going down. Okay. Then from the side angle, point number two, engaging the core. Okay. This is what disengagement looks like. This is what engagement looks like. Okay. So in a push-up position from the knees, let's say, let's say I'm doing a push-up like this. Okay. Notice my elbows flare out. Let's adjust that first and foremost and go down. Standard push-up. Okay, so one other thing I want to talk about with push-ups is making sure that you're protracting your shoulder blades. This is harder to view without um, seeing my back, but what you want to think about is when my arms are straight out here, what are my shoulder do blades doing? They're pulling apart, okay? When I bring it in here, what are my shoulder blades doing? They're contracting, they're bringing, they're coming closer together. So you want to think of that in a push-up, okay? Now, think about this, this is what's interesting. A lot of people will actually, when they have their elbows out, they'll feel more contraction here. So they'll think, oh, that's what I need to do. But no, you want to, within the rules of keeping your elbows locked in, you want to do this. Bring those shoulder blades together on the way as you lower yourself to the ground. And then as you push yourself away, you want them to spread apart. Okay? Another common mistake with, with focusing on the shoulder blades, right, 
is that, as you notice, my shoulders kind of rise a little bit. So keep that in mind. Tap your traps or tap your shoulders and depress them down and then focus on the shoulder blades. Think about keeping your elbows lower as you go back and forth. All right, guys, so that's my little tutorial on push-ups. Hope that was interesting. I